N10 just released their new feature called data tables, which makes it so much easier for us to be using databases within our automations. You can find it on the top right here. Go to data tables and you can create a new data table simply by pressing this button right here. You can call it, let's do test and then create. Now you have a table right here inside of N10. So you don't have to call any external Google Sheets, Airtable, Notion API, and you can start adding columns by pressing this button or this one. Let's do this one right here. Let's do name. You can choose the type of text that it is, what type of variable. I can add a column and I can even add a row right here saying Michele. And you can add more fields by adding more columns. And if you're wondering how this compares to Google Sheets, well, here I have an automation with a form with these details, name, email, phone, location, submitted at, and form mode. And when the form is submitted, the first step we're going to do is add it to the Google Sheet right here. And the second step, we're going to add it to the Notion table right here. So you get to see exactly which one's faster and how they both work. I'm going to execute the workflow. So you can see now it's adding it to Google Sheets. One, two, three, three seconds. And the data tables took less than a second, right? Which is insane, which shows you exactly, as you can see here, that we have the data here and the data here. When I refresh, all right, we can see the exact name, which shows you exactly that this is way more robust. It's more scalable and it's all within the n and platforms, which allows us to actually be able to test or store information in a much, much easier way. Now I've made a full step-by-step -step video showing you exactly how to set it up within your automations. And also I built an invoice assistant using the tools, which are these data tables. If you want a full video, make sure to check out this first link down below.